Hi everyone, today we are going to study Evaluate Limits Involving Infinity. This is part 1. Let us see this example 1. Evaluate the limit of the function 1 over x squared as x approaches 0. For our solution, let us remember the rule number 5. It says here, the limit of the function 1 over x raised to n as x approaches 0 from the right equals positive infinity. While the limit of the function 1 over x raised to n as x approaches 0 from the left is equal to positive infinity provided that n is even and n is greater than or equal to 2. Considering our problem here, we can say that the limit of 1 over x squared as x approaches 0 from the right is equal to the limit of 1 over x squared as x approaches 0 from the left and this is equal to positive infinity. Since our problem here is a two-sided limit, we can write now the limit of 1 over x squared as x approaches 0 equals positive infinity. Let us note this answer in here. Algebraically, we can observe the graph of this function. You can see here that when x approaches 0 from the right, the graph is going to positive infinity. While coming from the left, the graph is approaching a y value that is positive infinity also. So this is our final answer. Let us see this example too. Evaluate the limit of the function pi square root of 3 all over x square as x approaches infinity. For our solution, let us write again our problem and then let us take note that our numerator here is a constant. By limit law, we can take this constant away while taking the limit of the function 1 over x squared. As you see here, we write pi square root of 3 multiplied by the limit of 1 over x squared as x approaches infinity. We note by rule number 3 that the limit of 1 over x raised to n as x approaches infinity equals 0. It means the limit of 1 over x squared as x approaches infinity equals 0. And we will substitute this value 0 for the limit here. So we have pi square root of 3 times 0. And the final answer is 0. Let us have example 3. Evaluate the limit of the function 2 minus 1 over x as x approaches infinity. We write again our problem here and by limit law, we can take the limit of each term of the function. So we have the limit of 2 as x approaches infinity minus the limit of 1 over x as x approaches infinity. Take note that the rule number 1 says the limit of the constant k as x approaches infinity equals k. While rule number 3 
it says that the limit of 1 over x raised to n as x approaches infinity equals 0. It means to say we can now solve the limit of 2 as x approaches infinity is equal to 2 minus the limit of 1 over x as x approaches infinity is equal to 0 and 2 minus 0 is simply 2. Considering the graph of this function, we can see here that when x approaches positive infinity, the graph is approaching a y value that is 2. While when x is approaching negative infinity, the graph is approaching a y value that is 2. So this is our final answer. Example 4. Evaluate the limit x squared plus 5 as x approaches negative infinity. Let us write again this problem here and by limit law we can express this by limit of x squared as x approaches negative infinity plus the limit of 5 as x approaches negative infinity. Let us note that by rule number 4, the limit of x raised to n as x approaches negative infinity equals positive infinity if n is an even number and it is greater or equal to 2 while the answer will be negative infinity if n is an odd number that starts with 1 onwards. And the rule number 1 says, the limit of the constant k as x approaches negative infinity equals k. It means to say, the limit of x squared as x approaches negative infinity is equal to positive infinity plus the limit of 5 as x approaches negative infinity is equal to 5. So in here, positive infinity plus the constant 5. If we add this, the constant will be consumed by the positive infinity behavior. So the final answer is simply positive infinity infinity. This is our final answer. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.